welcome back. Um, it's Craig again at Leaf Life uh, Bushcraft. Just going to get the second uh, the second part done to uh, winter tree ident. And um, today we're going to do the sycamore and the beech. Hopefully, I can get it fit. Uh, I can fit it into one um, video. Uh, the other one, the oak one, was a little bit long-winded, but. Uh, try and shorten it a little bit um, today um, also um, I'm shooting or I'm putting like a compilation together of all the clips that I didn't get to put in the previous videos um, I'm gonna put them together as well so there could be like two different videos getting out so like normal I'll just get set up and then uh, we can go from there so today we're gonna go and have a look at the uh, beach, Fagus Savatica. Pardon if that's not pronounced correctly. Grows to around about 25 to 35 meters tall, but has been known to go up to 49 meters, 160 foot. And they normally last for around about, well, from 150 to 250 years. But again, has been known to live 3, 350. Now, depending on the placement, we talked a, a little bit about this um, on the oak video, uh, depending on the placement, they will be shaped in one of two ways this i don't know if you can see is a bit of a clearing so this is a bit like a statue tree and then what we mean by that is it's got branches coming off the bottom big boughs coming off the bottom and it's uh, it's quite it's, it's it's like a it's got a crown three quarters of the way up it so that's a statue beach As you can see there, there's big limbs and they, they go, they come out horizontal and then go up. This puts a lot of strain around here because obviously this branch doesn't need that much to hold it compared to this one. I know it's bigger but, and it's this part here and then you can see one in this way as well and to hold branches like that especially when they've got leaf on it's strenuous for the tree now in summertime when it's got full leaf on it's a nice calm day this is why these these trees can just drop healthy branches for no reason maybe something's got in uh, you know to one part of the branch and had a little bit of a nibble on and that's all it takes on Bosch so I wouldn't camp where I'm sat where I've made kind of base camp there because we've just got boughs all over now the beach only starts to flower after 30 between 30 and 80 years so you won't see any uh, flower on any you won't see any seeds for the first 30, say 50 years. But them oak, uh, beech nuts are extremely useful for squirrels, red squirrels, grey squirrels, birds and that, 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 that decide to, to feed on them. We've used them in the past. Um, we've used them for oil burning in lamps also we've used them for cooking oil and in fact um, in some parts of France and Italy they use them as a uh, coffee substitute still so just obviously um, baked ground down and made into a made into a latte now this is uh, 
how we would definitely get a uh, beach in the woodland without any leaf on two main reasons obviously I've just showed you this silhouette um, but it's this bark and it's quite distinctive just like the oak um, quite distinctive just like the oak nice and smooth the odd crack like that but overall very smooth slippy when wet and you probably get these limbs coming out the side obviously on the silhouette type of thing but yeah so we're looking at a smooth bark and also you're still unsure about the bark there we go can you see the buds sharp buds so sharp buds and these are a nightmare when you're actually climbing the tree um, because you walk straight into them it goes under your visor and pokes you in the eye or up the nose or and they're quite I mean they're only a buzz but uh, they're still quite sharp on the ends so even be careful walking under walking into uh, like I've got here walking underneath to set up you can still get jabbed in the eye jabbed in the eye by these so so that's the buds and also that's the uh, that's the bark and so this is what I would classify as a woodland beach and that one This one here, this one is under uh, foot to tips. Say. But the thing is, beach woodlands are dark, dark woodland, and nothing grows. As you can see, there's bugger all on the floor. Now, beech saplings um, don't like strong sunlight and they don't grow very well in, in clearings so while nothing can grow here the beech can grow the saplings can grow and get, and, uh, get big and that as soon as the beech get, get a hold in here they shoot up past the oak block all sunlight and then the oak starts to die which could be what this one is here and as you see they don't stand a chance because in summertime this will probably be one of the darkest parts of the forest well in a deciduous woodland it would be anyway but as you can see there's very little on the floor shrub um, that, that first first layer now just as I say that, this part down here, so these beach go up to about there, the, these ones here. Past that you can see oak. See, this is typical oak growth all over the place. And underneath there you've got holly, Alexis aquifolium growing underneath because it's it's light enough too but this bit there's bugger all growing it's one of the main reasons why um, foresters of past have taken out beech in the forest because it's uh, they want the oaks to grow which is a, a lot more valuable wood now these are classified as a native species um, up, up north they're not so well they are still classified as an native species but it's an argument because uh, we can trace them back and they've they've only been about around in the UK since 
4000 BC. So they're not by the book native. A native species, um, the definition of it is basically any tree that was left in the UK when the English Channel was formed and that was around 6000 BC so uh, it's not necessarily a, a native species but uh, I know down south they definitely classify it as a native species now there's a big bar that's come off I wanted to be uh, camping just there. And this is a prime example of a woodland beach. All the way to the top. Again, that's about 100 foot to the top. And they're used for, well, they're used for everything. Tools, mallets, tool handles flooring, furniture, everything, bar, um, any structural support, heavy structural support, that's why you don't get beach tim uh, cook houses, you used to get oak cook houses. Beach roots are uh, shallow and wide and they take um, take advantage of a fungi, a beneficial fungi in the soil it's called mycorrhizal fungi and that basically attaches itself to the root and uh, feeds on uh, the, the, the roots sap or any sugars it's got. Now in return it the tree, the root uses the surface area of the uh, fungi to absorb nutrients and water that the uh, that the fungi can't do anything with on its own. Let's the tree absorb it, turns it into sugars, and then feeds on the sugars. And this is beneficial for the tree and for the uh, fungi. So. When normally fungi are feasting on some dead or dying decaying matter, this type of fungi, only it's only in the soil, it's only for the roots, and they, uh, so they're beneficial. But anyway, that's um, beach, Vega sabbatica. So uh, I'll wrap this one up and. Uh, I think the next one we'll go for is uh, Sycamore Sound.